What is going down my YouTube family? It is your boy Zary from the XMG coming at you tonight to talk to you a little bit about Disney Sorcerer's Arena. Still playing the game. Still loving it actually. Finding it very interesting and having a lot of fun with it. You know, and what we're going to talk about today is I am at my two week mark. I am hoping next week we will have Unstable Gamer on to talk so I can go back to watching YouTube videos and all that fun stuff so I can actually find out what I'm doing. But before we jump into that, if you're just finding me for the first time, consider hitting that subscribe button. We are growing every single day. And for all of my family members out there, I cannot thank you enough for the love and the support that you show me each and every day. So with that being said, let's jump into Disney Sorcerer's Arena at the two week mark and see how I'm doing. All right. So like we said, you know, I've been playing this game for two weeks and just to show you on the calendar tomorrow will be my 15th day and i am still thoroughly enjoying this game and there are many things about it that i do enjoy and some things i wish they changed and i made a video about that and all that good stuff that goes along with it but what i am really really finding interesting about this game is the theory crafting that goes into it and the team compositions because it's kind of like open-ended and there is a lot of synergy based in this game so when i First thing, what I did is I read every single kit in the game, and I made assumptions based off previous hero collectors that I played, and what I was going to do is focus on my kingdoms team, and then I was going to farm Frozen at the same time. In the shops, I was going after Shin Yu and Jack Sparrow. Just because I thought Jack Sparrow based off his kit. And he had Charm, which I still think is pretty a crazy move. So I'm going to kind of show you my account, where I'm at, what I'm sitting at, what I'm looking like, and what I kind of do on a daily basis. So first things first is my energy. I, I do a lot of farming. I'm probably over farming. And uh, that is a no-no in Hero Collectors. But I'm trying to catch up so I can make more content. And I've only spent money on two things. I bought the, the VIP 30-day pass. I believe the value in that is phenomenal. And then I bought the Pass Holder Season 5, which I don't know if I'll buy again. Now, it is worth the money, but I don't know if I'll end up buying that again. And maybe it's because these characters, I, it didn't really help me get them, and that was kind of what I wanted, and it didn't really help. So... I buy all 50 refreshes here for the 50 crystals, and I buy one 100 crystal refresh. And that gets me everybody I want farmed, and then it also gets me a little bit of gear. Now, what I found is absolutely the gear crunch is 100% real in this game, and it is very, very tedious. And when it comes to the grand campaign... I, I was refreshing that once a day, but I stopped doing that so I could come over to the regular energy. I also request my energy every single day from my guildmates. I watch all the videos, you know, to get the energy on both the grand campaign and the regular campaign. Then when it comes down to the store, you know, I do watch all of my free ads there because it is crystals and it helps me. So why not? So like I said, I was farming... My plan was to come in and make a Kingdoms team and jumping back into the collection. I have Aladdin. Now, I just hit level 34, I think, this morning or yesterday. So I don't even know the max level in this game. So if somebody could tell me that in the comments below, that would be huge. I am grinding Aladdin out of the Grand Campaign and his, far and his nodes in the regular campaign. I unlocked Jasmine, got her up to... Everybody up here is gear 4. And I'm absolutely in love with Jasmine. I think her kit is phenomenal. I really like the fact of when you call in Raja, and then it comes up again. It just doesn't like give him another taunt or restore some health. It, it like kills him and then brings him back at full health with the taunt. I love the mechanic. And the synergy between her and Aladdin is really, really good. I unlocked Shin Yu this morning and I got super lucky I got nine shards of him out of one of those like chests you get 
um, with the silver tokens. I can't think of the name off of them. So I got really lucky with him. So that it was eight or nine shards, I think. But that I got real lucky there. Then I have Syndrome, um, which I farmed for my fifth villain at the time, and Demona. Now, I also unlocked Captain Jack Sparrow today, so that was big. I just have him to gear level 3, and I haven't really played around with him much because I just got him up to gear level 3 with the free energy refreshes. Baloo, I'm taking a step back from. I think he served his purpose for me. Now, I am interested in a Wilds team, and he does have the Wilds tag. So, definitely interested there, but for right now, he's kind of served his purpose, and I don't really need him much anymore. The next person I'm, I'm actually going to start putting stuff into after I get Captain Jack Sparrow to um, level 4 is the um, Sorcerer's Arena Mickey, because he does have that Kingdom tag. So I really want to run a team of Shinyu lead, you know, Aladdin, Jasmine, and either Demona or Syndrome. I like them both. Probably Syndrome. Demona has some crazy damage, but I really like the stun on Syndrome. And then I'm going to put Sorcerer's Mickey in there. Or I might even put Captain Jack Sparrow in, depending on how I play around with his kit. I was able to unlock Chunk. You know, just by farming his nodes and with all the double drops, I was able to farm him. So he did help out. He helps out in my villain campaign grind. And I got Merida up. I got Elastigirl. I was able to beat all of those events. Rafiki from the Lion King event. Um, and I am farming Kristoff every single day. And I almost have him unlocked at three stars. So that'll be huge. Now, I was able to get Big Baby 22 out of 50. I was hoping to get more of him. But I needed... <laughs> I needed more uh, villains, and I didn't realize I needed those villains when I did it. And then Sven, I haven't really worked on much, but I will be getting to him after I get drop another character. And I'm trying to work my way up to get to Genie, and I just started farming Anna. So that is how I'm doing. I don't think I am doing too bad. My Like I said, my my Kingdoms team is coming along pretty well i would really like to get genie up and running but I, I can't get to his node to farm him yet and i'll show you where i am in the campaign you know i talked about the wilds team and i i'm putting a base together but the wilds team is really really dependent on me getting Kristoff and sven up and running you know when i get elsa hopefully you know she is a five star unlock and i would like to get more do up and running also for that team so i'm a little bit off a ways off on that team and then when it comes to, I was going to work on downtown villains, I have a pretty good base team. Um, I just started farming Big Bad Wolf. I heard through, you know, some of the comments and some of the guild talk is that the Big Bad Wolf is a very, very good DPS. And I wasn't sure if he was just an extreme glass cannon, but I was told he isn't. So that was what made me hesitant reading his kit. But, you know, that's a good thing. And then, you know, Dr. Facilier, I was told in some video comments that he is great for tower and PvP. You know, we can get him out of the arena shop, but uh, that is taken up at that time. And I, I have not been able to reach any of his nodes where he is. So that is kind of where we are there. You know, and the other thing I did talk about was the Aladdin team. And... You know, I can't get Jafar until that event comes back around, but I'm hoping by then I should be in a good spot for that. But you never know. And, you know, another thing I, I got to ask Unstable Gamer, if somebody wants to tell me down below, is, you know, what's the highest gear level? What's the highest level for the characters? I'd also really like to know, you know, is level 4 a suitable spot to get him up to and then progress down the line? Or do you just keep gearing? So kind of the questions i have right now so when it comes down to the campaigns in the grand campaign obviously i'm to aladdin and i stopped once i got that chest you know i'm going to keep grinding out aladdin until he is seven star and then i'm going to come down to sven and start working on sven now i was looking through here just kind of i want to get to olaf but he's a ways away and i don't think i have the power to get there anyways 
And then Big Bad Wolf is in here. So that is something to keep in mind. So I think I'm going to go Aladdin, come down, do Sven. And Syndrome is in here, but I'm not as worried about that as I am about getting Olaf. So I'll probably go Aladdin, Sven, Olaf, and then Big Bad Wolf unless Unstable Gamer sways me otherwise. In the Heroes campaign, you know, I farm quite a few nodes out of here. I farm Demona every day. I have been farming Chunk when the bonuses are up. I farm Kristoff, Syndrome, Big Bad Wolf, and Ana. You know, and then looking further in the campaign, Dr. Facilier would be great. Mordu is great. But those are a ways off for me for sure. In the Villains campaign, again, I do a lot of farming out of here. Like I said, I'm probably over farming. I do Aladdin. I do Jasmine. Kristoff, Chunk on double days, Jasmine again, and I cannot beat this level because I'm hoping to get to Genie so I can start farming him as well, but this level is just, I get absolutely smoked on. So, because I have Demona level 4, Shinyu level 4, Syndrome level 4, and then my other ones are just terrible. I put in Chunk and he gets annihilated. I, I haven't I don't feel the villains that I have are worth the effort based off what I've read. And again, I could be very wrong, but the villains I have, you know, I don't really care for Gaston. I don't like his kit. I don't think he's a very good tank. And Uzma just seems like a pretty crappy healer. You know, pretty much the only one you get till Dr. Fracilier, who puts on the shields and then the continuous heals on the downtown villains. So that would be big. And then some of the bigger, heavier hitters here. Obviously more do, but I'm focused on Shin Yu. Uh, Hades, Jafar, Scar would be really good. But right now, I don't want to put anything into these ones. Chunk, his kid is cool, but he really needs Big Baby and Lotso to kind of benefit from that. Captain Hook seems okay, but it just doesn't seem like he's worth the investment at the moment. So just kind of to go over the events where I'm at here in the security breach. Obviously, it's the only one I can do. I am do working on this to unlock Bob or Mr. Incredible. Hopefully going to be able to do that before the event is up, but I don't know. We have eight days, so I should be able to. And here, this is the part that hurts. I can't get to this level because I don't meet the requirements because I need one more villain at another star level. I don't know, I guess I could suck it up and farm one of these guys up, but I just, right now it doesn't fit in my plans and it doesn't really seem worth it. And I can't do any of these. I don't have the requirements for these. We need three, three mythical, three star gear four. I don't have any of that yet, obviously. So my YouTube family, that is where I'm at. And I'm still enjoying the game. I, I'm working through my plan. I don't know if it's right or wrong, but I'm working through my plan. And I've asked a couple questions out there, so if somebody could answer them for me, that would be huge. I would appreciate that very much. But continuing to enjoy the game, I'm going to continue to make videos on this game maybe two to three times a week. So that is where I'm at. If you're looking for a guild, XMG family, you know, it's for all age levels. We got some kiddos in there. We got some grown-ups, so family-friendly guild. And if you just want to try the game out, come on in and help us out. We are starting our first club conquest tomorrow, so I'm pretty excited to see that game mode. So first impressions on that will be pretty cool. So that's where I'm at. So again, if you're just finding me for the first time, click that subscribe button, join the family, turn on notifications, blah, blah, blah. All my family members out there, you know I love you. Live stream tomorrow. If you want to come down and check out some Dragon Champions, feel free to join us. I'll see you all in the next one. I'm out.